so my camera I had like a $700 one and that was out and we were filming Specky so we were just taking hangers on each other and the wind blew my big W tripod over like lens was fine everything was fine but this little thing broke that's the most Australian sentence I've ever heard <laughs> we are taking Specky's on each other and then they fucked my big W tripod <laughs> So then I sent my camera off to Canon and they said it's not. They must say Kmart. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I have a very special guest, Mr. Luke Kidgel. Thanks for joining me, mate. Thank you very much for having me, Caden. I was going to ask you before we talk about the Melbourne Football Club because we both go for them. Yeah, it's a rough life gone for the D's. I went to the last three games last year when we were like a, like a chance for finals. So we beat St Kilda. I went to that one and then I was. Yeah, that's right. We only just beat them and then we lost to Collingwood and it was one of the most devastating days of my life. So, who's who's the team that you hate versing? Like? I, I actually hate... love Hawthorne because it's weird, controversial for a non-Hawthorne sport to love Hawthorne. Cause my brother and my dad go for Hawthorne. So, pretty much, I pretty much followed Hawthorne <laughs> through their glory years as like, and just kind as of I... forgot. <laughs> I was trying to suppress my Melbourne like fandom when Hawthorne were winning. Because, yeah, my brother and my dad go for Hawthorne. But so I hate did, playing how, them. So how did you become a Melbourne fan? Oh, my mum goes for Melbourne. So, so I got dodged could. out because my brother's <laughs> older than me, so he came first, yeah. and then Dad was like, he's a Hawthorne man. And then I came second, I'm two years younger than him, and yeah. Dad's like, all right, he can be Melbourne then. I lived in Geelong. All my mates yeah, go wh for Geelong. Why don't you go to, for Geelong? Did well, you get born in? Yeah, so my mum went, <laughs> we've sort of done the opposite. My mum <laughs> goes for Geelong, but my dad goes for Melbourne. You should have stuck with your mum, and you I could know. have seen your team play way more. Yeah, <laughs> like, you catch the V line down every yeah. single game. Yeah, that's not worth it. That's It'd be worth it if you went for any other team. Yeah, Geelong and Hawthorne have been the powerhouses of the last decade, <laughs> yeah. but like last year they were weren't. We beat them both. No, we no? lost. We lost. Never mind, guys. I don't know anything <laughs> about football. No, so I'm just here for the extra subscribers. <laughs> when I was little, I would cry when Melbourne lost. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just happens so much that like the tears just dry out. Like I cry when Melbourne win because I just don't know what to do with my emotions. <laughs> happens like four times a year and I'm like I don't know how to handle it. Is there a win that sticks into your mind that you've been to or seen? The best game I've ever been to was not a Melbourne game, it was a Hawthorne game. <laughs> it was, it was your Hawks game? It was Hawthorne and Adelaide in that final, the first final and Buddy kicks a goal from like 60 metres out with like a minute to go to put him in the lead. Oh, and Eddie had. Yeah, oh yeah, man. <laughs> how, how, how do you know that? <laughs> My favorite Melbourne memory is Jack Watts' first game when he ran on the field and got pummeled by like eight Collingwood blokes. <laughs> and was... then from that day onwards, I was just like, yep, I <laughs> need to stop going for this football club. Are you like a banner guy? No, I oh. know. Oh, that's like, that's too far. But are you in me. the cheer squad every week? No. Oh. No. So, well, so I don't. You're not even that keen. No. I Unsubscribe, don't. guys. I, I don't like footy. He's more of an A League fan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's just trying to cash in on the footy market. Don't worry about it. I've got a game called Overrated, Underrated. Copied yep. it off Cal Freezy, English YouTuber. Overrated, Underrated. We already talked okay. about him. Jack Watts. I think he's underrated. Underrated. Well, I know. I think. I guess he's just rated then, because everyone hates him. Yeah. But he's good. I think he's good. It didn't make sense what I said. Everyone hates him. He's underrated. <laughs> I, I think he's good. Don't you? I, I think he's the only one in our team who can actually kick the ball straight yeah. and hit a target. Yeah. When he got traded, I was like gutted because he's the nicest bloke and... How oh, humble brag. Hey guys, <laughs> he's met Jack Watts. I'll actually... Don't, <laughs> don't mention I'm going to put in a little clip here of when I met him. <laughs> <laughs> you are shameless. <laughs> No. He's a sweetheart. No, no, he does seem no, like a nice guy. On the guy. footy show yeah. and stuff, he's like, yeah, always Down blind, always earth. nice. Um, so I was shattered on that part, but I was also like, oh, Jack, I was sort of tired of defending him, because I've defended him for years. I've been like, oh, no, he's going to come good, he's going to do this, which he did come good for a year. Mm -hmm. And then apparently he went to Bali, bit of a bender, we've all been there. And <laughs> came back super unfit last year, but he still played good games last year. He yeah, I thought he was good. I, I didn't even notice the Bali bender. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I did not even. And that's that the happened. dream. If you have a no. barley bender and no one notices. The next one, uh, we've gotten into a little bit of trouble over this preseason. Have you heard how the D's <laughs> didn't want to do their training camp? No. All right. So the D's, they had a commando-style training camp in Maroochydore, in Queensland. Um, and the players... I wouldn't want to go to Queensland either. The yeah. state is a dump. So <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, anyone watching. All these Queensland fans. <laughs> Last year, Christian Salem was carrying bricks, got concussed. 
Um, they do things where they don't sleep. Uh, Dom Tyson injured his knee. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't want to go there either. <laughs> so, they just tortured it. Yeah, they, the no, they did. Yeah. A lot of people are writing on Facebook at the moment. It's too hard for them. They just don't want to do training camps. Oh, like, pre-season's too hard for them. It's like, no, they don't want to be treated like a member of the <laughs> Taliban. Oh, well, look, it is. It, it makes us look like soft cocks, but if yeah. I was in their shoes, I wouldn't want oh, to do it I wouldn't either. want to do it either. And not the, not the not sleeping part and the humidity. Just <laughs> Queensland. <Yeah. laughs> pre-season camps, overrated, underrated. Overrated? Overrated. Yeah. There's some people. No, well, you got to do pre-season. Like yeah, I was watching. Yeah, you can't them, just snow. Dude, I was watching them. Bali. Yeah, no, you, <laughs> you can't all do a Jack Watts. Watching them train on my Instagram the other day, they were doing a two-kilometer or a three-kilometer time trial. Yeah, I'm. A, I do running myself, right? They were not flying those boys. <laughs> I would have been in the top pack. <laughs> Easy. Really? Yeah, I trained with the North guys like a few weeks ago. Did you? Oh, well, me and my mate were just running down there. Oh, don't put this on the channel. This, <laughs> now, guys, I'm bragging. Sorry. It's, it's going to be drafted next year. It just rubs year. up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I've also met Jack Watts. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's a different type of fitness because they would kill me. Like, I ran with them for 10 minutes. I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying I can yeah. run for, for, for like, oh, match mate, I couldn't run with them for Here's the thing. Seconds. I used to do athletics during the summer, the footy during the winter, and I used to come back after athletics, I'd be like, oh, I'm the fittest I've ever been. I used to be a state runner. Jesus. Come back to footy, mate, you do one bump, one tackle, yeah. and you kick the ball, and I was dead. Yeah. It's a completely different type of fitness. So I don't know what, I don't know, I'm just not, I don't know what my point was. <laughs> I think my point was, they're training shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe they should have gone to Queensland. I could beat them in a time trial. No, well, a lot Can of... you organise that? Can I go down there and train with them? Well, I'll do it on your channel. Yeah, I'll come down and I'll run against them. I'm going to get smashed. I'm willing to do it. All right. <laughs> Is it in Casey? No, they do it at Amy Park. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's go Game now. on. Let's go A now. 1v1 Nathan Jones in a two kilometre. Do you reckon you'll get him? I think I'm, I'm going to start training a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon I would give, no, honestly, we'll give him a show. The last overrated, underrated is Mark Neild. He ruined our club. He did. But, I, um, Paul oh, Roos brought I, it back. I want to get Mark Neild on. I want to chat to him because a lot of people hate Why? You're going to lose subscribers. <laughs> no, I just want to find out, like, what went wrong. <laughs> That's what? so rude. Hey, man. <laughs> How did you fail so hard? Yeah. No, it wasn't for Paul Roos. We'd still be in a bad place, our football club. You know who I miss? Travis Johnston. Travis Johnston. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of photos of old players. I just want you to describe what they mean to you. You know, do you remember this boat? Oh, yeah. Nathan, Who was he? Nathan Carroll. Why are you pointing at all these obscure players that like I recognise? And because I remember hating him at the time. He was like a cult kind of like. Yeah, cult figure back when. Yeah. Um, he was like the spanger of yeah. our football club. Yeah. I get another Hawthorne reference. <laughs> oh, Liam he was the uh, the bloke who again <laughs> got in trouble uh, for what axing someone. Yeah, he macheted his cousin. Macheted his cousin. Alice Springs. And you know what? That's what I like about him. He stands up for himself. All right, <laughs> Liam Jerry. I liked him. He was good. Oh, I hate him. Tom Scully. Yeah, moved to GWS, got drafted. We gave him a start, and then he was like, oh, money, and then he left. <laughs> that was after two seasons as well. He yeah. didn't put into the club at all. And then the next time when we beat them, I was there at that game, and it Where was everyone, one of the everyone, best moments of my everyone life. Everyone had money bags. Everyone was like... booing him. It was awesome. Half of the shit is going to get me in trouble. I work at Triple M. Like, oh, <laughs> Copper Dick, Tom Scully, the dog. <laughs> And then it's next week be, you're like, oh, we got a guest for you. Yeah, we got a guest on the show, Tom Scully. I was hoping you'd bring up actually players that I could talk As about. As in like Adam Uze, Yeah, Greg like Green. Jeff White. Oh, yeah, well, that's what I, was, I thought you were going to bring up. I was up. going to. And you were like, I'll bring up three cult players that he may recognise, but probably not. <laughs> yeah, I, I went through that. I'm like, oh, Cameron Bruce. Um, Who do you reckon my favourite player is? Do you remember Paul Witt? No, it's not. Yeah, I do. Well, David Neat. No. Well, what? He's more of a showman. Still involved with the club. Russell Robinson, he was my favourite player. Oh, man. He was my favourite player. He used to have time. number 24 on the back of my footy jumper when yeah. I played juniors. Yeah, Russell Robinson was the man. Day, I did, I was a Neats fan, but yeah. I, you can't, nothing compares to Russell just, Robinson's class. Yeah. Okay? And Adam Uze, I loved it just when the crowd used to go, ooh. Yeah. Um, well, I used to think people were booing him. I'm like, yeah, and I was like, this guy, this, guy oh, this is rough, and then I was yeah. like, oh, that's his name. Yeah. <laughs> what a sign of respect. <laughs> it doesn't matter what he says. The point is, he's met Jack Watts, and that's all that matters. We'll get Jack on next time. Can you get me on with, can I be there too? Because I want to meet him now, just so I can do it be on my channel. Like, hey guys, 
Oh, Don no. Rag, but I met Jack once. Hey, I just want to thank Luke for coming on the show Mate, today. Thanks for having me. You said gonna... the show. It's not a show. It is a show. It's and a show. Thank you for having me on the show. No worries. Um, Hopefully this year we'll go to a D's game and we'll. we'll yes, let's do place. it. We'll meet Jack Watts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's he playing for that comedy? Uh, Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He's moved with Tumpus. Yeah. I don't know why I thought. You know what? In my head, he's just. I have him getting crushed into the ground <laughs> yeah. by Collingwood. And I just think, I don't know, he plays for Collingwood now. Yeah. Because that's like, that's the dog that he is. No, I love him. I still love him. I'm actually super cut that he's leaving. Um, but yes, we need to go to a game this year. Beautiful. And I need to be in one of these vlogs. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.